All right, Blueprint, I'm working on a new website, dropshipbeauty.com, and there was something in here that I think a lot of you guys, uh, Shopify store owners, are missing out, and make sure you do this. There's two items uh, I'm gonna show you really quick. So if you go into your Shopify admin and go to preferences, right, like this, you'll see this page comes up and there's two things here that you definitely need to spend a little bit of time to fix. So first thing is gonna be your homepage title. That's where you enter in this information. This is for SEO purposes and also when you're sharing uh, this page, it's really important to have this. Okay, so you do that, you put that information there. Homepage description, like I always say, try to keep it under 160 characters. I don't know why Shopify says 320, but they just do. Uh, the next one is, this is the one that a lot of people miss. So the social sharing image preview, this is when you're sharing a page on social, not actually, I wouldn't be as worried about you because if you notice something was wrong, you'd probably fix it. But if someone else is sharing your page on social and an image doesn't show up, this is what fixes it. If you add an image here, this is gonna go ahead and put the uh, that image as kind of like a default image if something else doesn't show up. So I'm gonna show you how quick we can design one of these. Uh, if you go back here, let's see, um, it is 600 by, or excuse me, 1200 by 628, right? So just create the design. I'm gonna do this in Canva. So 1200 by 628, create new design. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do something like in beauty. I'm gonna search one of their templates. I kind of like this one. I'm not gonna use that photo. And I don't want this background color and I don't want all this text, uh, but I will add the Dropship Beauty logo here looking really, really nice. Okay, so you wanna keep it simple. And you don't wanna to put too much text here because a lot of times this is gonna show up on mobile. And on mobile, if you put too much text and it's really small, you're not gonna be able to see anything. Uh, so I just wanna kinda of center this in here. Where's my center? See, so it has the little guidelines here, kinda of snaps in. Okay, so Dropship Beauty. And then I wanna change this photo. So I'm just gonna search cosmetics. Uh, let's see, I definitely want something more like this or something kind of like this. Oh, oh, this is eye catching. So something maybe pink. And I wish I could have had access to more of these. Uh, let's see if I can just kind of scroll it bigger. Okay, does that look a little weird, guys? You know, let's see. Or would it be better more like this? Okay, and we can actually make it kind of larger. And then we're gonna position this to the back. Backward, backward, backward. Oh, let's just go ahead. Uh, let's see, we wanna put that over here. So what I'm doing is I'm cropping the photo before I delete this, because that's kind of the template and kind of makes sense right down the middle. Hey, that looks pretty good right there, right? Looking good. See how quick and easy this is? I mean, really, you can do it in minutes in Canva. And then I'm just gonna call it Dropship Beauty Social. You wanna name it something. Uh, we're gonna download a JPG. The size, uh, 80 is fine. Let's go ahead and download this. Okay, it's gonna take just a second. Now we're gonna go back here to the preferences page. I think I can just drag that in, see how easy that was. And then now, wow, that looks good. Now let's give it a old save. Now see, this is a new website and I don't have anything built out on it yet. So if we check out the actual website at dropshipbeauty.com, you'll see this is, well, you can see this, but this is basically, this is us building it out. But if I put this in a private browser, Okay, so you can see here dropshipbeauty.com. It's just an opening soon and you put in your email here. Um, so if I share this page, you know, the information uh, previously before I set this, uh, those defaults up in the preferences probably is not gonna look as good. So if I go over, let's say I go over to our awesome Facebook group, the Starter Hair Extension Business Facebook group, 
Okay, so I'm here in the Starter Hair Extension Business Facebook group with 39,000 members. Uh, I would advise signing up for this group, tons of free information. So now if I post this, let's see what happens. Dropship Beauty, now you see the image show up here in social. Uh, it has the title, you know, unbranded beauty products, all of this. So I'm gonna post this because if I didn't do this, it would just kind of be no photo and it would look horrible. So now we take control of what it looks like on social. Super important. Go ahead and set this up for your Shopify brand. If this helped you, please give me a thumbs up on the video. Maybe a subscribe would be nice. Maybe put something in the comments like, hey, Mikey, thanks so much. This is helping me out because I have a lot more videos and tutorials coming. Now that I'm building out this new site, I'm actually gonna take a lot of clips from this before it launches to show you guys how incredibly easy Shopify can be if people are sharing the right information for you.